You know, by the way, you are a very smart uh, person, Mr. Uh, uh, whatever your name. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Hamido, Hamido, sorry, because I was calling, going to call him a snake, something like that. This is not nice. Uh, let us see. Okay, I will make it uh, by uh, four. Uh, 4.50 Okay, Hamido Here we go Hamido The mic is yours Mr. Hamido And we are listening Tell us how your prophet He have the right to wear his wife clothes Everybody, everybody is listening And we want to learn from you Your mic Okay, that's why you give me the mic No, 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 no Thank you, a light big a light direct feed. You'll feed it. I get enough out of it. And I get enough out of those bin maghrabiyya bitta bitnaka. Allah la'ana fi kulli kitab. That's why you give me the mic. It is convinced. Say it one more time, please. Your prophet, he had the right to wear his wife clothes. Say it if you are a man. Are you scared? Are you scared? Say it. You said your prophet had the right to wear his wife clothes. Say it again. We want to hear it. Everybody in the room want to hear it. Your mic. said who did record what he said if anyone did record him let me know let us post it in YouTube you did great so there is no need for you to repeat mr. Hamido thank you very much we are done everybody will see that it is a right to your prophet to wear his wife and their wear go ahead Sakar yeah we are, we are scared from you you know we are scared from all Muslims what you can say your mic mr. Sakar go ahead right I'll give you a right answer. Muhammad said, if anybody wear ladies' clothes, this people is going to be out of the cycle of Islam. He did say that. How is going to wear human clothes? That's... Hamid, stop jumping like a goat. Zakar, where your prophet, he said, if a man he wear his wife clothes, he is out of Islam. I want to see that. People in the room, do you like to see it? Show us. We are waiting for you. You're mine. I say to you, I say to you, that's the Muhammad's speech. He did say that. If anybody wear ladies' clothes, she's going to be out. So why he was wearing ready clothes then? This is mean he's out of Islam. Hello? Come on, Sakar. Show us, show us. You're mine. his woman and it's his home and it, it he owned everything belonging to his woman it's his property he can slap her she have right to go to the judge she have right to get divorced as if you don't have that in your Christian faith you see he got right to even not to wear only her clothes to give down her property after she died to his no no the important for us that 
what you said that he had the right to wear his wife and you know I want to know how a prophet of God why he is wearing his wife clothes I'm not a question you what he can do with her clothes maybe he want to burn it no problem this is not a question why he is wearing your his wife clothes you said he have the right to wear his wife clothes no problem but why he is wearing them is it normal for a man to wear women clothes like did you ever see your your dad wearing your mommy clothes have you ever seen your dad coming out from the bedroom wearing your mother bra? Why Muhammad was wearing his wife clothes? Your mind. Your mind. Okay, why? I'm gonna ask you to answer me and this is my answer to you. Can you show me our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Balas? I will say to you in Arabic, Christian dreams. ممكن توريني فين قصر رسول الاسلام صلى الله عليه وسلم؟ Take the mic. Guys, look what we are talking about. Look what he is talking about. Can you show me where is the palace of Muhammad? It, it was his wife underwear. This is his favorite place. This is what we are talking about. Why your prophet used to wear his wife clothes? This is his palace, man. This man, he don't feel comfortable until he wears his wife's clothes. Actually, he said in the hadith, I never received Quran until I wear Aisha clothes. There's a connection between the underwear of Aisha and Allah himself. There's a magic. He wear it, Quran come. He take it off, Quran stop. Your mic. Uh, what I show you? The palace of Alexander the Great. Would I show you the palaces of your Christian King Christ of Rome? Alexander the Great is a Muslim and he is a gay. And I can show you the verse from the Quran saying he is a Muslim. But this is not our topic. Your prophet said Alexander the Great, he was a Muslim and he was fighting for Allah. And he was called Alexander with the two horn for a reason. First time he came to the Muslim, he said to them, became, sorry, to, the, to his people, saying to them, became a Muslim, they did beat him in his head. So he got the first horn in his head. Makes sense. Then Allah, he made him alive again. He sent him back to his people. He told them again, became a Muslim, or otherwise Allah will punish you. His people, they beat him until he died in his head and he got the second horn. Makes sense. That's why he was called Alexander with the two horns. Makes sense. <laughs> so, he is a Muslim prophet and he proven by science, uh, history science, that he is a bisexual. So, this is explained why Muhammad is wearing his wife underwear and why Alexander the Great, he was a bisexual. <laughs> now, let us go back to the topic. Your prophet was wearing his wife underwear. Why? Give us a reason, man. We want to know. You're Mike. Don't talk about palace. Who care about the palace, man? How you can build a palace for someone he live in the tent? This man he cannot he cannot he cannot sleep if there is not one hundred lice in his panties. I can show you the hadith. He used to it. You put him in a palace, he die. But this is not the question. Why your prophet was wearing his wife clothes? Your mic. Stupid you. You are really very stupid. This is my answer to you. Show me the palace. What is palace? That's why I say to you, he shared what they gave. Oh, he was sharing his wife, her clothes. I see, because he don't have a palace. Makes sense. If you don't have a palace, what do you do? You have to share your wife underwear. Still, we did not get it, man. If you don't have a palace, what does this have to do with wearing your wife underwear? Hello, your mic. I thank you, Ashraf Allah, because he was the enemy to break every palace, to break and to kill to every king of earth, and to break down and above his head every palace he had built for his son and his kids and his faggot. He's the enemy to kill and to destroy every idiot prince that the United made. Okay, so are you 
you saying that it was part of the plan to kill the kings by wearing his wife underwear? Like he go out, he show the king his wife underwear, and the king will die. So 